uh, overnight. Uh, it's bad enough to have tornadoes, but when you have them overnight, that's even worse. And there is a track once again racing off to the north Sunday at 7 p.m. 40 mile an hour winds. It's a, uh, a very weak tropical storm at that point it becomes a remnant low by the time we get into Monday. Now our rain forecast showing anywhere from well, probably a little less than an inch to a little over an inch. So let's just say around an inch worth of rain as we go throughout the day on Monday. And here is the forecast. There goes Nate. It gets kind of morphed into a frontal boundary off to the north and producing quite a bit of rain. There's some flooding rain all the way up into the Ohio Valley where you can see five to seven inches worth of rain there. We're not going to see that much rain, but we're going to have the humid conditions and your typical summer type weather in October. So tomorrow, look at these numbers. How about this? 86 of Idalia, 85 at Reedsville, Jessup at 87 degrees, Hinesville at 88 degrees, Sylvania 85 degrees, Rincon coming in at 87 degrees. Here in Bryan and Chatham County, we're looking at 86 at Pembroke, Savannah, 88 degrees in the low country, Buford coming in at 85 degrees. Here is a look at your seven day forecast. You see the numbers upper 80s, even 90 degrees. You know what, folks? We may actually break a record on Wednesday. Wednesday's record is 89 degrees. I'm going for 90. That's just how crazy this weather has been. Average high should be 80 degrees. The average low should be 60. We're well above that for highs and lows throughout the week. And we have scattered showers. Best chance of seeing them tomorrow and on Monday.